The Little Gardener by Emily Hughes. And also, don't you just like that the publishing company of this book is called Flying Eye Books? I just think that's a win. And also, the book is lovely. It has this, uh, this binding that's cloth, and it's got a nice, lovely flower. And then on the back, it's got this circle um, that tells us there once was a little gardener, and his garden meant everything to him. He worked hard, very hard, but he was just too little, or at least he felt he was. There's everything coming up, popping up, popping up. Twos and threes. For my pappy, petunias still bloom for you, as do I, my fondest love. Oh, that's lovely. So, the little gardener. Wow, so much to look at with this. This was the garden. It didn't really look like much. And then can you see the little house? And can you see the little gardener? So tiny next to the house, his hat. But it meant everything to its gardener. Ah, now we know how big the gardener is. Can you see the dandelion and how small this little gardener is? It was his home, it was his supper, it was his joy. There's a friend that's a worm, so just think about how tiny, tiny this little gardener is. Oh, lovely. Oh no, and then look, there's a can there. Let's find out what happens. Only he wasn't much good at gardening. It wasn't that he didn't, it wasn't that he didn't work hard because he definitely worked hard he worked hard very very hard he was just too little but there was one thing that did blossom in his garden I hope they say hope. Don't you hope that they say hope is what blooms there? Let me find out. No. It was a flower. It was alive and wonderful. It gave the gardener hope, and it made him work even harder. Now, that's a pretty impressive flower. And the artist, who is also the author, Emily Hughes, had, look at how she put this like glow around that flower. He worked hard, he worked all morning, he worked all afternoon, he worked all night. Wow, look at how big that saw is, would you just? Still, the garden was dying. He would have no home, he would have no supper. This story mountain is like this, and it's about the garden. He would have no joy. One night, feeling tired and sad, he made a wish. And I see that he's probably wishing on a star, that he's looking outside of his window, and we get to see inside of his house. And I just want to tell you that I just want to go outside right now, even though it's nighttime, and build a house like that out of straw and grass that you can find right now because spring is coming. No one heard his little voice, but someone saw his flower. His little voice says, I wish I had a bit of help. Now we see a different house and a different person. And that's, that flower is still glowing and sparkling. The star is still above it there. Look at that. Look at that picture. Oh, that's a light. And the stars are up there. He's wishing on the light, maybe even. And here comes the gardener that's going to help. It was alive and wonderful. It gave the, it gave the someone hope. It made the someone want to work harder. Oh, 
The next day, the gardener was weary and slept the whole day. He slept the whole week. He slept the whole month. It's almost like it's gone back to where he needs to go into the winter. And when he finally awoke, it had been just long enough for something to change. This is the garden now, and this is the gardener. He doesn't look like much, but he means everything to his garden. The end. Thank you.